Are you good? Okay. So it's a huge win for you, Daniel. You kind of had your back up the, against the wall coming into it. You had two losses. How important was it for you to go in there and dominate right off the bat and get that submission win? Uh, like I was saying in my interviews, uh, you know, I got to go in there, finish my fight to, you know, keep my job. You know, how the UFC is going right now, you got to win a fight. You know, you really had Justin up against the cage there. You didn't allow him any room to breathe or utilize his striking game. Was that part of your plan right away from just coming into it from all the training? Yeah, finally now, you know, the kickboxer since he was six. You know, my whole goal was to use my wrestling for this fight. You know, nobody's seen my wrestling in the UFC yet. So I really haven't taken nobody down, but for this fight, that was my plan to come in and take them down. You're with the team takedown in Texas, or do you just train a little bit with Johnny Hendricks and them? Uh, I train at Four Ounce Fight Club. I have trained with Johnny Bedford and Hendricks over there once or twice, but this whole camp was at Four Ounce. Okay. I was just curious if you had worked your wrestling at all out with them, or what wrestlers did you bring in specifically at your uh, camp with Four Ounce? Actually, it's funny. I was like, he's my brother. He's the one that taught me to wrestle since I was in high school, so. I've had him in my corner the whole time, and he was here with me too. So, pretty much, that's all I needed. Uh, well, pretty much, man. You know, I put him against the cage. You know, my goal is take him down. I took him down, and uh, I've been working a lot of my kimuras with uh, Jason Rogers, a black belt undertook, and uh, you know, it worked perfectly. You know, I really got the the kimuras down now. Thank God. You know, they're working out for me, and as you can see, it was a finish in the first round kind of have a long time to wait it out to see if you could get that submission of the night. Are you going to be back there wondering if that could come your way also with that, with that Kimura win? Uh, yeah, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, fight a submission of the night. You know, I've been having a couple of submissions and uh, had a nice fight against Mike Brown and I haven't got no bonuses. I'm hoping this one's it. Before this two fight loss, you had actually nine fights before. Are we, those were your only two losses. You were like seven and two in that stretch. How important was it for you to come back and get that other win here? Well, I was in a seven uh, win streak, you know, and uh, when I lost to Mike Brown, you know, it brought me down. And then I got caught by Carvalho, and I knew I had to come in and put on a show this time, so I did. Which fight are you looking uh, forward to the most? Uh, Uriah, man, you know, he's good. He was one of my idols back in the days, too, you know. I used to love watching him, all the wrestling. Yeah. All right, so you're, you're rooting for Uriah. Yeah. Gotcha. It'll be, it'll be a good fight, man, where it wins it, man, you know. So, it'll be a good fight. Nice. And do you have any plans? Uh, you're, you're in Vegas. Are you going out to celebrate? Oh, you yeah. Here? You know, I've been in Vegas for, what, almost a week and exactly. haven't done yep. nothing. Just train and uh, cut weight. Now it's time to go party with my wife and all the fans that came. Brought, like, about 40, 50 people from Houston over here. So it's a, it's a good day. You gamble? Oh, yeah. I'm already down about 500, so <laughs> right. I got to go get my money back. <laughs> May you get that bonus. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I get that bonus. Come on, Dana. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, thanks so thanks much. Congratulations. Thank you.